Yo, 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 what's good, man? Y'all already know what time it is, man. Another episode of NBL, baby. To fill y'all in what's going on in the sports world, the real world, your world, my world, whoever world. Go ahead and let them know what's going on, bro. How you feeling today? What's going on, NBL fam, man? Another episode brought to you by subscribe, like, and share, baby. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> baby, it's a new month. We trying to reach, I still still trying to reach 100 subscribers, but now we trying to reach 110. We gonna set our, we gonna set our goals short, baby. Pause. But um, yeah, man, just try to um, like, share, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, share with a friend. Share with somebody who you think I like it, man. We really trying to reach a goal. 110. I think we're gonna get that this month. So on, um, let's kick it off. Hey, yes, man. Sir. Start out, start off the first topic. Cameron. Shout out! To, he he sent out a diss to Ant Man for his commercial because Ant Man and all right in the commercial y'all Ant Man had a raw ass commercial. He said he basically was saying forget everybody that was some um, saying shit about him, but he never said anybody name. It was just he was like random, he, random he was stuff coming receipts. out. Yeah, random, yeah. random, random on receipt coming out saying oh, ah uh, yeah oh uh, whatever whatever. But they they specifically named Cameron and that receipt. So he said, fuck, buddy. He said, he <laughs> hey, what's up with the machine, though? That's for my receipts. Receipts? Yeah, I hear all the hate. Yo, Ed, Carmelo said, are you committed to really going out there and being the face of the league? Because they throwing that term around too loosely. OK. Cameron said, to me, he's an all-star, but not a superstar yet. <laughs> buddy. It is what it ain't. What else they say, Slit? The most overrated athlete. Oh, this is a good one. Does he really love the game? He doesn't look like he's even in a good enough he shape. He's just wrong. I'm noticing he complains a bit. What happened to the next American prodigy? Kevin Wilde I ain't trying to rub it in. But they saying this the furthest y'all gonna get. <laughs> this only the beginning. Because I'm not who they think I am. I'm better. But hey, that shit was funny. It was nice. I liked it. Uh, for his um new low top, I think no, it wasn't low top, but it was for his a, you know A one. I think it's called Adidas, whatever. A one, A E one, yeah, A E one, A E one. I fold A E ones, a lot of people don't like them. Some people do. I fold A E ones. I like them. But um, and Cameron went on the dish. He shot out. He went um. He recorded the disc record. He did a. It wasn't a freestyle. A lot of people said. I think he recorded the disc record. He did it on his show. No style to cramp camps. Pussy on the handstand, but fuck wrong with Ant Man. Gave him his pops. Homie got love from me. New commercial. Y'all ain't got love for me. He shot a jump shot and said, fuck buddy. The receipt reader looking like your fuck buddy. And trust buddy, I ain't want to judge buddy. Buddy sitting there glazing at you like a love hubby. This lost luck, listen here, I'm bossed up. Kyrie over with this shit, don't get crossed up. Shooters. Part, and that's just my own thoughts Luca, I send you home on your home court Get him a Uber, I don't know what y'all thought Adidas, I'm blaming you, this is your fault Campaign about to go strong, Jay Y'all think y'all got the b-ball version of Kanye? Come on, stop it, dude Y'all just stop it through He do something y'all don't like, you'll drop him too Fucking careers up T-Mac, Derrick Rose, RG3, John Wall Let him know Reggie Bush, I'm on Shepard, I'm on the road you know Kevin Red Google what was on his toes. Whoa, you wearing them bullshits? No. Jim Jones ad libs. Go. Nitro, hype yo, light show, might flow, nice clothes, white nose like. Whoa. <sighs> Gotta be sniffing, man. And that boy snapped. I like this. I like this. No, that shit was nice, so I that heard it. That shit was nice. A ding. Hey, my, hey, my, it's kind of throwback. It might be the throwback days, like the throwback. Yeah, like a, yeah like that's why I like it. Yeah. It's like an old yeah. school freestyle. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Straight bars, straight bars. But yeah, I mean, then he sent out a whole uh, receipt saying he's going to do a documentary on Adidas saying a lot of people fuck, fucked up their careers with Adidas, like got hurt. I, don't, I ain't going to lie. A lot of people's name was kind of like, damn, all the boys did have Adidas on. From Daniel nah, to, to, to T-Mac. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. There's a lot of niggas, bro. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, man. I don't want to get into that Adidas. Uh, nah, it's true. Um, it's true. That that man put in fact, like receipt, I, like real I shit. Wanna, I don't want to get into no shoe, dog. I don't think a shoe could do that, but you can say that. What you thought? You about can say that. 
Yo, what you what you thought about the diss, um, Camera? You feel like it was legit to do that to Ant Man? Uh, how you feel? Like, I feel like I feel like the this I feel like the this was um warranted. Like once you mention the nigga name in any regard that's not positive, like it's no holds bar. Nigga come back and say and do whatever you want to do. You can't say nothing. So and one thing I want to say about that, I respect Cameron because he could have easily got gangster on, on Anthony Atwood and all that, but he didn't. You know what I'm saying? He still let him know that I'm still a fan. I still fuck with you, but I'm gonna go at Adidas though. Adidas, y'all finna get this smoke. Y'all finna catch these hands. Y'all gonna catch these bars or whatever you want to call it. So I, I I respect Cam for doing it the way he did it. And he, he, he kept the young man, you know what I'm saying, out the fire. He said, I kind of like that out of a young man. That's how you're supposed to be. But it was like Twitter receipts that Cam uh, said, you're an all-star, not a superstar. I don't even remember saying that. But if I did say that, it must have been last season because all season, I've been having Anthony Edwards back the whole season. I don't even know where this came from. Pause. But... To get my name mentioned in the national campaign, I can't be mad at that. And I'll show, even though they tried to take a jab at us. But they didn't say Skip Bayless. They didn't say Stephen A. Smith. They didn't say Shannon Sharp. They didn't say uh, Matt Barnes. Shout out to Matt St Stack Five. No disrespect to my brothers. They could have had a. They didn't say J. Will. They know niggas know who yeah. they watching, nigga. I'm, I'm yeah. the voice, nigga. I am the voice. So niggas pay attention to what I say. And I appreciate y'all paying attention to what I say. Now, what I will say is this. They didn't say Skip Bayless. They didn't say Stephen A. Smith. They didn't say Shannon Sharp. They didn't say uh, Matt Barnes. Shout out to Matt and St Stack Five. No disrespect to my brothers. They could have had a... They didn't say J. Will. They know, niggas know who yeah. they watching, nigga. I'm, I'm yeah. the voice, nigga. I am the voice. So niggas pay attention to what I say. And I appreciate y'all paying attention to what I say. Now, what I will say is this. I'm, even though I did a little freestyle this morning, you know, no problem. I'm not going to even go go back and forth, man, because I'm a fan. I, like I said, I'm really an Anthony Edwards fan. And he's 22. You're supposed to have that uh, attitude when you're 22 years old. And I dig it. You know, uh, he tried that with Kyrie. How did that go? <laughs> yeah, how'd that work out? But I like <laughs> I like his attitude, to be totally honest with you. So, shots out to Cameron. Good freestyle. And it's all fair game to me. Oh, man. I, I'm kind of, kind of, I was kind of confused by it. I liked it, the freestyle, but I was confused because I don't know, man. I don't know if I like it because it's just a commercial. But I get Cameron, I guess, to see on the podcast, on me on the show every day. He felt like he got to respond. Um, I don't know. Me, that was more, bro. Go ahead, bro. That was more for Cam. That was more like some more publicity, like, bro. The last two, think about it. The last two things Cameron been involved in was this Anthony Edwards shit, which was with that commercial, and that shit was worldwide, and it was that CNN shit, which was worldwide. So I guarantee you, it is what it is. Podcast stock them went straight through the roof. Like, if, if it ain't go all the way up, it went up a lot because. He been putting that shit out there. He been on the forefront. So shout out to Cameron. He even said that. He said, man, they ain't calling out first take of Skip Bayless or they ain't calling out these other guys. You feel me? They calling out me. So yeah. in, in a way, he kind of seemed that respect. So like he made it type shit. So I would have felt the same way because if, if Anthony Edwards would have said fuck NBL, I'd have been like that. <laughs> fuck NBL, nigga, that. I ain't going to lie. We need to start dissing niggas then. But nah, I mean... That man said, fuck, buddy. I feel like that was a baby. That's how he feel. That's how he feel. You feel me? I guess Cameron came back with the fuck, buddy. Like, you should have said, fuck Kyrie. Like, you said, I mean, you said, yeah. fuck Kyrie. You see how that see what, See what that got you. <laughs> got your ass in the blender. Got yeah, your ass home. Man, that, that, that shit was kind of crazy. Hey, then people ain't catch on, um, like you said, I'm with this. Seven thousand for abortion. We used to do that. You feel me? Like with hangers. Like we did that with hangers. Like you, you taking little shots at him, man. When man had to pay the fee for the girl. That's why I say everything is fair game. Once you this, once you mention the nigga uh, name, I don't want to hear that. Oh, he going too far. Nope. Nope. Nah, man. He, I feel like that man built for that. He from the hood. He he built for that. He he be all right. He tough. He a tough nigga. He a tough. But what Cam said and um, paying the full. He tough. You tough. You'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> both, both of them dudes will be all right. They they tough. They they solidified in this game. Everything will be good. Um, yeah, yeah. But um, other than that, you got anything else you 
Yeah, uh, we were just talking about how how um, Anthony Edwards and um, the camera and shit, right? I was kind of like a beef, so that kind of re- brought me back to all the way back full circle to the Drake and Kendrick shit. You know, I want to mention that one more time because that shit, I heard a song with Drake, and that shit wasn't it. I know you heard that shit, that Delilah bullshit or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, man. Walk on Delilah, no, I'm late cause there's bare traffic I just showed my dog your Grammy, said he knows a man I slapped it, I'm so cheesed Bro, what's wrong with Drake? Bro, I think, bro, is, is, is it the end of Drake? Is it officially the end of Drake or is it just a, this, this just a one track off, just a one off? Like, let me know what it is, bro uh, I'm a, I'm gonna give him to the end of July before I say he, he, he finished I don't know He need a banger From CTE they talking about some Kendrick Lamar game of CTE. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now nah, I don't know what the fuck that song was. He talking about he, he did it with a YouTuber. First of all, it's with a YouTuber they saying that made the song. And bro, they, the they say fuck, he, I don't get it. Bro, who the fuck is in Drake count? Somebody wants to tell him, hey, bro, listen, bro. Right it. now is not the time to drop no bullshit like this. Exactly. You already you already behind the eight ball. People already talking about you. You spending accents and shit. And you culture jacking the shit, and now you come with some Jamaican slash Wagwan bullshit. Like, bro, what is that, bro? Like, ugh, brother, ugh. <laughs> uh, that's all I seen on there. That's crazy. That's all I seen in the comments. Ugh, ugh, brother, ugh. I'm like, God. yeah, like that shit is garbage, bro. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna like. I think he don't know how to. This how I don't think he he never suffered the loss like this. So I don't think he know how to like kind of cope with himself. He don't know how to come back from it, Paul. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's not like he confused, like. But if he had real homies with him, they'll tell him, man, hey, drop a five record, like, bro, that's it. We don't need no features. Yes, man, we need a, we need a, we need a. Right now, Drake needs a club banger, not no good lyric song, not no man. We need a club banger, something that's gonna get you in that bit, like you feel me? Like, but no, remember what Kendrick said. You can't go, you can't go to future no more. You can't go to Atlanta and and try to get the boys. (laughs) For the club, he gotta create his own club banger. Can he do that? I don't think he created his own club banger. Remember, he he create good songs, not club songs by itself. So we gotta if he do that by itself, that'd be good for him. So Drake, yeah, yeah, your ass is on the clock, boy. Your ass got to the end of fucking July to drop us a banger, or your ass is over. You you officially listed as over. So you got a month and two months, basically. We'll give him two months. Yeah, that part. Bro. Game one coming up soon, Thursday. Yes, sir. Who do you like? Boston, Dallas. Who you fucking with and why? Who you fucking with and why? All right. Game one only. Game one. All right. Game one. Game one. I'm a better right. So I'm a I'm gonna do it as if I was betting, and then, and I'm gonna bet. So I'm putting my money on Boston to win to take game one. I think Boston gonna come out focused and you know what i'm saying and dallas one of those teams that they don't start off good they kind of play from behind like the eight ball type shit they be down and they come back so i think boston gonna win game one what you think okay you said and you you said because they don't start fast that's your reason my reason is because i feel like boston gonna come out focused and they gonna they, they know that they can't afford to lose game one to dallas and i feel like they're gonna come out like you know what I'm saying? Ready to do the uh, thing, you feel me? Yeah, I feel like I got Boston too. Um, I got Boston for my mind. This this not from a bad aspect because I'm gonna talk from two different tones. This tone is just coming from straight from me, just feeling like Boston gonna win because they have the better bench and they had a longer rest time. So I feel like they gonna come out firing on all aspects. They gonna come out very white. Plus he gets playing game one too. They just mm-hmm. gonna come out. I think it might be a fucking um at least a ten point game. I ain't gonna lie. Whatever it is, Boston gonna be favored anyway. But I think Boston gonna cover. It's gonna be and from betting wise, um I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm conflicted betting because I think a lot of people gonna take Boston now. Before it was Dallas, but it's just me saying that. You know, I don't and, know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, and I hope it don't happen. But I think I think Kyrie gonna be kind of pressing game one because you know he back in Boston, the crowd, so he's gonna be trying to. So I, but I, I think we kind of pressing a little bit, and they gonna lose, and then we'll see from there. <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of people gonna take. I don't, who do who do, who do people like Dallas or Boston? Who you think the people like around the world? 
Oh, everybody, 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 everybody rule for Dallas. Okay. H- hands down. No, so, nobody like nobody like fucking Boston. So the Batman, I will go with Boston since everybody is taking Dallas. That's you exactly. go as yeah. Batman. I exactly, bro. The heavy uh betting favorite. Not, not yeah. favorite. I like to go favorite. we we like to go against the grain type shit. Yeah, I want to go against the wave. I don't want to if all y'all that. going that way, we going. That way. <laughs> yeah, and, like that's said, and like I said, the, the um Umaro factor in game one will be Daryl White to me. Y'all watch out for Daryl White and y'all watch out for Al Horford. So Derek guys... Go ahead, So Derek White is your X Factor and um Al Horford. Yes, yes. I feel like my, my X Factor for for Boston is Jay, even though Jalen Brown is starting, he'll start Jalen Brown as long as he played good as fuck. Him and um for Dallas, I think the role players gotta play good, like fucking lively and Derrick Jones and them boys like that. So that's the key to the game for both teams, the role players. That's usually how I be in the finals. And um look, PJ, you PJ Washington, fucking all them boys, man. PJ, all them boys, man. I I, I ain't gonna lie to me. They had an unbelievable. Hey, on a funny note, bro, right? I was watching, I was looking at, um, I was on Instagram and um, fucking Michael Urban ass came up. <laughs> Somebody wow. in the comments, I was like, okay, listen, he was on that. He was like, man, he was on that, like, like he about to cry, bro. Somebody saw something, man, unk coked up. He was on that, like, about to cry, saw something, man. Somebody told me to look at the, the numbers on Kyrie and, um, and Luca Jersey, and it's 77 11. So I'm like, what is that? So he man, look again. They say, look again, look again. So he said, I looked again. He said, I added it up. 77 plus 11. This 88. Man, when he ain't got the jersey and started crying. So this 88. He said, he said, God, he said, God he said this. Dope. So, hey, so I like Dallas to win the series. I'm talking about, bro, he was tripping. I'm talking about yelling, screaming, like, bro, I'm going to post this shit, brother, bro. That- he said, 77 and 11. I said, okay, look at in Kyrie. What do y'all want me to see? They said, look one last time. And I did, and you know what I saw? Look who it is. I saw this. I never even knew. I never thought about it. 11 and 7, 7. 7 and 7 and 11 equals 88. That equals 80. The football guards sent this message. That the Mavericks are winning the title. Eat that. That shit was too bad. Like, what Michael Irvin on one, but for real. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck Michael on talking about. It, 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 it's meant to be. It's meant to be. It's, 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 it's meant to be. It. Nigga on about to cry, bro. Like, for real, bro. I'm like, this man tripping, dog. That's, 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 how them, that's, how them, that's how them That's them Dallas Cowboys for you. Yeah, nah. I ain't gonna lie. Michael Irvin on that coke, on that coke shit. <laughs> But yeah, oh yeah, um, bro. Before you, I know you're gonna go to the NBA or something, or you're gonna go to another basketball time. Oh no, no, right. no, I, I'm just gonna stay on this one for. Uh, okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Since you stay on the NBA, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, yeah. So there was another reason why I say I'm going with um Boston because they was one of the teams that regular season um teams and playoff teams that just been scoring crazy. They've been scoring the highest amount of points. Three pointers. Um, three pointers at that. They've been averaging 122 points, the most anybody so i just felt like they scoring is going to come regardless from everywhere pause like they gonna have they got scores bro like even when they don't need they don't depend on two people mm-hmm. like Dallas do. They, they don't depend on them like them niggas don't score fuck y'all niggas we got more people that come off the bench bro. yeah get a point for him now so that's another reason i'm going with them i just wanted to throw that in there and i ain't gonna lie boy one thing about boston boy they either on or they off they either gonna beat the fuck out your ass or you gonna beat them? It's just it's just that simple. It ain't no other yeah. way. So the game start, you will know. Just yeah, know. I'm telling you, if Boston start off beating the fuck out of Dallas. That shit gonna be over before it even start. But if they start off close, I don't know. But yeah, Boston either they 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 either on or they off. It's never no okay game and still win. It's on or off. On That's and off. <laughs> I agree with you on that. Yeah. On that but speaking on the, um another basketball topic, right, bro? How about um I just want to send a congratulations to fucking JJ Reddick. That boy I got hired as the Lakers new coach. 
when that happened today happened? yeah today all right. Damn. Yeah. Look, that was, that's on the news. Let me check. Look it up. Look it up real quick. Take, take look, look it up right quick. So y'all for the JJ time. read it. You, I know. I know you was. I know you had to take your little nap after work and shit. But that shit just happened, bro. JJ read it. Is the breaking news? The new fucking head coach of the Lakers. And I want to yeah. know what you think about that shit. Confirm it first. Confirm it for the viewers. Let me confirm. JJ uh, Lakers zero and. And on JJ Red as a front runner to be so he's he's a front runner. No, 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 no. What you looking at? No, I'm looking at New York Times right now. Twelve minutes ago, they updated this. So mm. I'm looking at I'm looking at a lot of different um. Okay, different so we so we go so we gonna go. A lot of people saying that he's the front runner. Like it looked like he's gonna become the head coach. They ain't they ain't write it down the ink. Well, guess what, motherfucker? Y'all heard it here first. And JJ read it, the new head coach of the Lakers. We we bro, calling it out right now. Bro, I got, I got better sources. I got them sources now. I don't know what they talking about. Yeah, you so feel me? York, reported in the New York Times, <laughs> um, motherfucker Sports Illustrated, and all these other uh, blogs. They saying that he's <laughs> and they zeroing hey, down on that. Listen, they, bro. They doubling down on him, and he's finna be the head coach. Exactly. Listen, bro. I just talked to Woj. I talked to Woj, and Woj told me it is what it is, bro. Get him on a podcast, man. That's what we. You doing. feel me? I, I'm gonna get podcast. him, bro. Come on, boy. <laughs> how you, um, how I feel about it? Um, him, be, him if he is the head coach, become the head coach. We said this already. We said that's LeBron, homie. We said we knew that was gonna happen. I mean, it's it's so it's common sense, y'all. I see it. That's his dog. He gonna listen to him too. Guess okay, what? watch this. Show him up. He's not gonna show him up. So, do that mean that LeBron is staying in LA? Yeah, hell yeah, they gonna drive Bronny. So basically, the writing on the wall, and that's the proof in the put. JJ Reddick being signed by the Lakers is the ultimate test move to keep LeBron in LA and sign Bronny, and bam. One thing about Bron though. That motherfucker gonna he gonna, he gonna get who he want to coach. Whoever he want to coach, he gonna get his coach, bro. He, he need to stop doing that shit, probably, bro. But nigga, he gonna get his coach. Got, this nigga that got about down a twelve head coach is five or some shit. Hey, the only one he couldn't fuck with that still here is who? Spo. Some motherfucking Spo, cause Spo that guy. Yeah, he could. Get yes, sir. Pat Riley don't want to listen to that shit. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. All right, baby. Going to the next topic. Angel Reese, she wants her credit on like on the long side of Caitlin Clark. She felt like she popularized the WNBA this year as long as CC. So, bro, do you what do you think? And then she accepted her role as a villain. She said, "So, how do you feel about all that?" People are talking about women's basketball. You never would think that we talk about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. We got celebrities coming to games, sold out arenas. Yeah, the reason why we watching women's basketball is not just because of one person. It's because of me too, and I want y'all to realize that. Bro, I feel I've been saying this shit, bro. Like everybody giving Caitlin Clark all these flowers, rightfully so, because she do deserve them. But at the same time, every time I open Instagram or I look at Sports Center or anything, guess who I see? Ain't you fucking Reese? Angel. So, yeah, exactly, bro. So, obviously, she's is just as polarizing as Caitlin Clark, and I feel like she should get her flowers. And honestly, I kind of feel like she shouldn't have said that because fuck that. Don't even mention that shit. Everybody already know that. Like you, you and you, and you getting your flowers. So just mm -hmm. keep playing that role or whatever. Just keep doing your thing. Don't even don't even bring that shit up. Don't even get them nothing to talk about. You feel? Mm -hmm. so keep they, they already got enough to talk about. So. Yeah, man, I feel like I'm with Angel Reese on that, even though I feel like she shouldn't have said it. But go ahead. Um, yeah, I feel like she shouldn't have said it either because people just gonna say, "Uh, you really like that? Why you well, you ain't got to speak on it?" You feel me? Like, if if, if you feel like that was true, you wouldn't. You ain't got to speak on it. So people do feel like she's saying that. Don't solidify what she said because yeah, said, it, it's gonna seem like you jealous or yeah. you you hating or something. Like you know how people gonna twist shit. Yeah. Even though you tell, even, even though you telling the truth, even though you telling the truth, if you saying it, that's like, that's like you going out there and um playing ball. I mean playing basketball, you balling out, and you like, well, I'm like that, I'm like that. No, nah, yeah, let, you let other people let other people that. say that. You read my mind. You saying it, niggas ain't. You don't. You never say you the goat. You let other people say you the goat. 
that's, 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 when it, that's when it hit. hit mm-hmm. hard, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, and then, hey, oh, what, what you want to say? Nah, go ahead. And then, um, Angel Reese, another thing, right? She's starting to like, okay, even though she's playing the general, she's starting to gain a lot of like people that don't like her because I seen a post with Angel Reese, right? And bro, all down the comments, but it's nothing positive. Like everybody talking shit to saying she like, because somebody put a post and they said, what NBA player is Angel Reese if she was in the NBA? And they were saying, oh, she a modern day Tristan Trish Thompson. Oh, she Tristan Thompson that talk shit like Draymond. Oh, she this and, yeah, they was like it was just all bad shit, bro. And I'm like, damn, I say bitch really don't fuck with angels. Like, this is better. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you gotta accept the role of being a villain. Sometimes That's real though. You can't you feel me? You can't fight, you can't fight the people, man. You gotta go or whatever. You feel me rocking your boat. You feel me? Pause. But I feel like Angela Marie, she's playing like she's not Caitlin Clark. Them two. They, when they go up against each other, they play two separate positions. So she's not gonna be shooting threes like Caitlin. That's not her. That's not what she do. She plays down below in the paint. She get her. She get the rebound. She post up. She get her layup. She that's down there banging. She down there banging the yeah. whole game. Oh, she banging the whole game. You feel me? And that's how she get her points. Caitlin is playing beyond that line. So they two different positions, man. And Caitlin, I'm gonna say this: Caitlin Clark. Does bring a little bit more up to the plate than and um Angel Reed. and it's you feel me just a little bit more because she's a three point. What player. you mean? That's, um, oh, you talking about to my skill wise? No, I'm talking about skill wise because this, okay. this is what I'm gonna say is Kate Nicole. I don't believe that theory of everybody hating on her. I believe some people hate on her. You feel me? But not everybody. So this is this is what I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring her. I'm gonna relate her to Steph Curry when he first came. So when Steph Curry first came, it was like. Oh, this dude, he was going bonkers in um college. Shoot hella threes. Like they couldn't stop that boy. His team, college team was garbage, but that nigga was snapping every day. Um, mm-hmm. so when he came to the NBA, that shit ain't for the happen in the NBA. A lot of dudes, they went at that boy. Pause. Like they was playing, they was playing Curry Hall, but Curry, it don't matter how hard you play him, that nigga was a shooter. So it don't matter what you did, you can file him hard. He still for the run around the screen, get open. Shooter, he finna do crazy layup. He finna hit a three. Like it don't matter what you. And do eventually, up. he gained his respect. Yeah, just like Kaylin, Kaylin gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna be hard right now. Then later on, everybody gonna start respecting her, and she gonna start snapping. And yeah, and that's how that go in every gender. I mean, in every genre, like every NBA, NFL, um, goddamn, whatever soccer, whatever sport. Hey. Whatever, that's how that shit go. You you get you get your respect from. Playing tough on the court, you go against bullshit from everybody because you're a rookie, and that's how it's supposed to go. It don't put to be different for nobody. Nobody, bro. And speaking of playing tough, what you think about that foul from um Kennedy um Carter on on Kennedy Clark when she bumped the hard and shit like um the foul? From, I ain't gonna lie, I, I was trying to confuse about it because just looking at it, if you ain't see, because I ain't see that whole game, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't see the whole game. I seen bits and parts of. So I, I got some it. info on that shit, but go yeah, ahead. Yeah. So, so you gonna answer all my questions from off that? So just seeing that play, if I'm just looking at that play, I'm like, man, what the fuck she doing? Like, why the fuck she doing <laughs> to the girl? She look like she extra. She ultra aggressive. You feel me? Like, why you so aggressive? And then before she did it, she said the bitch words. She was like, bitch, and she did what she did. So by her saying the bitch word, me, I'm like, something had to happen. Like, something had to happen in between the game. To make mm-hmm. a bitch and do that. Yeah, time. and now listen, and that's what it goes to show when 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 you when somebody say, "Oh, it's two sides to the story," it's two sides to this story because when you open Instagram and Facebook, all you see is Kennedy Carter bumping Caitlyn Clark and calling her a bitch and all that. That's all you see. Every platform, every every post, scrolling. That's all you see, right? But if you dig deeper and you wonder, well, damn, why she win that Caitlyn Clark like that? Is she really hating on her like that, or did Caitlyn Clark? do something to make her retaliate in that manner. So I looked, I, I was scrolling and I seen some shit on somebody's page and it was like Caitlin Clark started that shit first because if you look at a play, they was getting, a, uh, it was a free throw and her and Caitlin Clark was lined up and when the girl shot the free throw, it bounced off and missed and they were trying to get the rebound. Caitlin Clark elbowed the girl in the mouth, like kind of elbowed her a little bit. So 
the girl like kept playing on. She ain't like saying nothing. So then it was another play. Kitten and Clark had she had them beat Kitten and Clark or something. And Kitten and Clark had them kind of like pushed her in the back a little bit. So and I guess that's what made the girl like get mad or whatever. Like like hold on, man. The winner is like bitch. Like stop playing with me. Like you tripping. Like the Kitten and Clark kept, was kind of initiating the physicality first, mm -hmm. but nobody nobody ain't posting that and nobody ain't see that. So they think the girl just went over there and just teed off on Kitten and Clark for no reason. And that's why she getting so much flat. So that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's crazy, man. I ain't gonna see all that. See, I gotta go yeah. back again just to see that catch that right Yeah. There. But thanks yeah, for giving I'm gonna us inside it, information and po thanks for giving us inside information on that so people could not see it how they want to see it. You feel me? I told y'all my sources is woes. <laughs> I told y'all, man, I got the sources that. <laughs> Whoa, you need to go on again, bro. But now, um, <laughs> just speaking to that. In the clock, like you said, we got to go through her growing pains, but she's eventually going to be a superstar in this shit, and she um, almost is that already, according to the media. But um, her last game on Sunday when they play Liberty, listen, they got this where you get humbled as a rookie because you see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the last game. No, I said the last game they played. Oh, what did you say? They last. I'm gonna say, no, God no, no, damn, no, no, she no, just no, started. No. Hell no, the last <laughs> game they played. Oh, all right, go ahead. They played they ain't play since Sunday. So Sunday was one of the last games they played, and they got blowed out. It was on um, 104 to 68. And Kane the Clock had three points. Like they lost by goddamn who God knows that's they got 36. 36. Like and she only had three points, Kane the Clark. And we not, and I'm not, I don't give a fuck about that because she had a bad game. Like, and and Liberty played real good against them. So like feel me, all that hate and all that. Love, it comes and goes, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Everybody just watch the games, man. Let them girls go out there and play physical. And and this is another thing, too, that, bro, and audience, a lot of people don't know. You just start watching the WNBA. They, they expect these girls to play like girls. They don't know the WNBA. They've been playing physical like that. Like, these girls are, these girls have been physical. They play more physical than the NBA. Because they feel yep. like they got something to prove. If you ever play with a girl on the basketball court, I'm gonna put it like this: she's gonna play hard as fuck because they yeah they do they do to prove. they got something to prove on the court. They, they don't want to be a pushover, so they play hard as fuck on the basketball court anywhere around the world. You feel me on the black on the black top like they gonna play hard, bro. So girls period play hard on that basketball court. Yeah, I don't feel like we should take that away from them because it's like. It's like we taking emotion away from them. That's they they, they want and it, emotion and, on that basketball. And it, listen, and it been beef in girls women basketball. Like it was a it was a um sources um my sources just told me some other shit. Right, so let's check uh -huh. this story out. Scott, you know Skylar Diggins, right? Yeah, and you know Diana Taurasi. Mm -hmm. They was on the same team a year ago, right? And they was on the bench. They was beefing about something like really going at it like hard. And then the coaches end up getting into the, some shit with um Skylar Diggins. And then she got pregnant. So she had to take like a leave. So she was gone for a minute. So when she tried to come back to the um to the to, to the arena, I mean to like the, the facility, they wouldn't let her in and shit. They had to like, you know what I'm saying? Blocked out basically. They blocked out. So yeah. now, fast forward to now, she's on the team called the Seattle Storm. And she plays Diana Taurasi in it, her former team tonight. So that's gonna be a good game to look forward to. Seattle Storm versus the Phoenix. Um, no, the Connecticut. No, the Phoenix Sun. It's, it's you know, one the, of them, um, over, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the Phoenix. It's the Phoenix. Um, Mer Mercury versus Seattle. Yeah, Phoenix is Mercury. The Phoenix Mercury. This, yeah, so that's a good game. That's a good um storyline to look at. Look forward to. And right now, I want to bring that up. Going on also that I'm gonna watch. That I'm gonna try to catch after the podcast. Um, you got New York Liberty versus the uh, Chicago Sky. It's a good game right now. So people check that one out. You feel me? Liberty. Let's Liberty. go, Angel. Let's go, Angel. They good as fuck. Good ass team. They got they got everybody. They got, yeah, they got everybody, everybody, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. They got everybody, bro. Check that game out, y'all. Oh um, yeah, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. But um, yeah, I'm finna say uh, leading on to the um, leading on to the, this topic that we're talking about. It was also a discussion on first take ETN with um oh my our girl I forgot her name but Stephen A and um Monica McNutt Monica all right because it's with Stephen A and Monica and Monica just kind of called Stephen A after Stephen A said ain't nobody been covering the WNBA more than first take 
And Monica said, you could have did this three years ago. And Stephen A had to respond about, like, what you mean? I've been like, what you mean? I was mm -mm -mm. First, I've been doing this. I've been covering the women's sport. And he like, she like, you know, she like cap, man. Stop capping. And, and a lot of people took that as her kind of trying to, you know, go at Stephen A. I ain't take it at that. I just take it as she called him cap. Like, Maybe you could call somebody cap. Even yeah, that's what, what I was saying. That's what I was saying, bro. Cap, you having an emotional discussion, like a real debate. Like, that's cap, bro. You ain't. It was more because he embarrassed him on TV, bro. Because he called this shit out on TV, bro. Because I've been watching Stephen A for a hell of years or whatever. And I used to watch him even more three years ago. And that man never talked about WNBA. I'm talking about, listen, listen to me, bro. Never. Talked about WNBA, bro. So even to stop all that cap, bro. That's that's that, that's major cap, bro. Everybody's starting to talk about WNBA this year because of Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. Straight up. Agreed, agreed. Because I just tapped into it this year when a Angel Reese and Caitlin had their thing going on in the college. That's when I tapped into it. And I've been new by WNBA because I used to bet on it, but I never talked about this shit on no damn platform or to my dogs or nothing like that. I used to bet on it. Like, I used to just bet on the good teams. Like, bro, but so. I know like they games are going bonkers. They games are crowded. Like, hey, that's never happened, dog. Like, people going to their games and basketball players, NBA players going to their games. Hey, yeah. Hey. You seen the motherfucking nigga, um, Pat McAfee. They go on this show. He called Caitlin Clark a bitch, bro. Talking about this white, the white bitch, or some shit like that. Yeah, bro. he was complimenting her. He was complimenting the white. He bitch. was complimenting the but, bro. This man. That's <laughs> the media people that continue to say this rookie class, this rookie class, this rookie class. Nah, just call it for what it is. There's one white bitch for the Indiana team who is a superstar. Was, yeah, I mean, what? You I know that was a little. That, that was a little out of pocket. Yeah, I mean, that was out of pocket. Up. It's Pat McAfee. He the only one who could cuss on ESPN, bro. Right. It ain't even about cussing, bro. Bro, okay, like this. Then like I got to everybody, bro. Okay, see how you said you taking it lightly. Now, 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 let's do this now. That's how we always do. He, he white. It, that's why I'm taking. No, it's no. If he would, if that was Angel Reese, he was complimenting, and he would have been like this black bitch. What it would have been then? What it would have been? White. Listen, it's white on white crime. That's why. I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying though. So that's crazy. Like even yeah, if even if even if that was, yeah, even if even if Pat McAfee or Stephen A. Smith, he was like this white bitch. Man, he would have been canceled, bro. Like that's why I say this 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 colorism shit crazy as hell, bro. Yeah, the colorism is crazy because he he said this this white bitch, and you right, like, damn, any nobody could should be saying no shit like that. On fucking TV at that, you feel me? Like, but it's Pat though. Pat says some crazy shit all the time. If he said this black bitch, bro, listen. If he said this black bitch, it would have been our world. Listen to me, bro. I watch Pat McAfee faithfully, bro. He says a lot of crazy things, bro. But calling somebody a white bitch, he has never got close to saying no shit like that, bro. Trust me, bro. That's why he you came right. on and apologized. That's why he nah. apologized, bro. Nah, you right. Cause he know he know that was out of pocket, bro. That, like, that, that, damn. This is this, this young white girl you calling a, a white bitch like that's crazy, but <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> funny. I don't, it's, it's funny because like you said, it was it was Angel Reese. I've been like, hold up, man, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Come on now, but hey. it's white on white crime. You know that's they, that's in their community. You gotta let them battle that out, shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got an IGL. I got one IGL question for you tonight. What we gonna end? Let's go. Let's go. It's a good Let's go. one too. Shoot off with it. I, I heard this question. I ain't gonna lie now. I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna take the credit for this. I heard this question on, on um, Instagram, but I want to ask you and I want to ask our viewers this one simple question. Oh, yeah. Would you let one of these WNBA babies fly you out? Like get your hair, get your hair cut, get you a little, get you a little Uber to her crib, take you out. Like, uh, would you let them do that? What's that she rap song? How you how you go? Say I love you. Love <laughs> <day>. <laughs> <laughs> so you get so you get flued out, bro. You get flued out. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I'm getting flued out. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. I just want to ask that shit, dog, cause bro, that's that's crazy. Imagine that. Just be looking up, dog. What you said, babe? No, they talking, nigga. I tell, hey. 
<laughs> hey, I'm going up there. I'm like, I ain't bringing shit. Nigga. I ain't bringing no clothes. I ain't bringing nothing. <laughs> she would take me out. She would take me out shopping, man. We buy me new boxes from Walmart, all type of shit. Nigga, I'm gonna be sitting in the passenger seat and all like a bitch. Nigga, I'm gonna be sitting there, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you can take me get something to eat. Listen, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be sitting on the court, on the court side, like um, what's the name? Was sitting in um, loving basketball. <laughs> like all my else was sitting there loving. Hey, they're gonna be chill. I'm like, let's go, oh. Bay. Get it. Let's go that shit. <laughs> let's go, Bay. Let's go, Bay. Nah, for real though. I mean, they can, hey, they they balling right, right, man. Soon they contesting to be like the NBA contract. Like, that's how I feel. Like, nah, I ain't gonna lie though, bro. If I had a WNBA, WNBA wife, I'd be a stay at home dad, bro. For real, like I take care of the kid, yeah. make sure the house good, like. As long as you get in that bag, bag, but she got to be getting that bag because you know they don't get paid like that right now. So, like, like, hey, I still be, I still be working like from home. Yeah, right. And yeah, with with they call, yeah, with they yeah. money, yeah. yeah, yeah. But if they if they had that LeBron and Steph Curry money, then shit, and they ain't gonna love They ain't that crazy. And, and we getting married. <laughs> 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 man, I don't believe in marriage, but we getting married. You know me? But no, yeah, man. That was, that was a good one, though. I ain't gonna lie, cause I've been seeing that a lot on social media. A lot of people talking <laughs> about they get fluid out by a WNBA player. I ain't gonna lie, some baddies in the WNBA, man. You know, baddies. Baddies. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Keep playing physical. And I'm gonna go watch the Chicago Sky game versus New York. Me Liberty. too. It's a good game right now. Y'all check it out. NBL signing out. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Nothing but love what you have.